guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! In today's episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo, we will add a very strange but also a very unique animal, which is the platypus. The platypus is obviously a new animal added to the game with the wetlands animal pack, and this is the animal which I was very excited for when it was first announced that it will be added to the game because no one simply expected that, that the platypus will be added with this pack and it is looking simply beautiful and really really well done and I really wanted to add it to the zoo. But there is one problem with a platypus. As I told you guys many times before, we are trying to be as much realistic in the zoo as the game allows us and also as I am able to, uh, you know, create things. And this zoo is meant to be located somewhere in Europe, we are building an European city zoo which is an older zoo which has some of those renovated parts, so some buildings are older, some are modern, but there is literally not a single zoo in Europe that houses a platypus. The only zoo that actually houses platypus outside of the Australia is a San Diego Zoo, in the United States and the reason for that is that the platypus needs very specific conditions and also unfortunately those guys uh, have free really hard time while transporting them from Australia uh, I mean they like often don't survive the transportation and that's why I think that the zoos from Australia decided not to like make any more attempts of you know uh, exporting them out of Australia because it is very bad for their health. I think that I read somewhere that London Zoo many years ago attempted to transit a platypus from Australia, like to house a platypus in, uh, in London, but it died on the way, unfortunately. And because of that, probably there are no any platypuses here in Europe, but our Elm Hill City Zoo has one. And I actually came up with a story to explain how we were able to get a platypus in here. So, our zoo made a deal with uh, the, one of the Australian zoos that they will transit the platypus to us if we prove that we'll be able to uh, provide it with the best habitat that will meet all its needs, that will like uh, be a perfect uh, recreation of its natural habitat. And we were able to do it because of our wealthy investors. Our zoo, that is a huge tourist attraction, uh, has a lot of money, it is earning a lot of money and the investors are actually uh, you know, interested in uh, investing into it because they believe that, you know, they'll be able to earn some money on us. So uh, we decided to, you know, call our investors and say that we want to have a platypus and we believe that it will draw even more tourists to see it, even more guests to see the platypus, but because it will be so unique that people from all over the Europe will come uh, to see it. And actually, I think that it could could be true. If a European zoo had a platypus, I would love to go there and see it. I would even buy flight tickets to see it. So yeah, we had very wealthy investors who invested in our zoo and we were able to build a very like modern uh, wetland house which we are starting to build today. Wow, that was a very long introduction. But yeah, we will build uh, for the Elm Hill City Zoo a wetland house and I wanted to build something very modern because lately we've been building those buildings inspired by the ar architecture from the past, like I don't know, 60s uh, and stuff like that. 70s uh, and now I was in a mood to build something very modern and I found a perfect like inspiration for like a very modern uh, wetland house it is actually like a pool in Switzerland that was opened recently and it is really beautiful and yeah I will try to recreate that a bit uh, and yeah this is uh, the main star of this wetland house is the platypus that we are building a habitat for today uh, and it will be in the center of that house and thanks to the platypus and that, you know, the investors saw it as a huge opportunity to have it, we were able to build this huge 
and very, very modern house. So the plans for this house is that uh, we'll have the platypus as a main like star in the middle and then we'll have uh, three more animals living in this house. Uh, two of them will be from the uh, wetlands animal pack. I can, I think I can reveal that it will be the uh, Asian small clothed otter and also a capybara and we'll have one more animal from the base game which I maybe will keep as a secret for you guys to have something to anticipate uh, and then uh, we will also have some wetlands animals living like next to this house to have like this whole wetland section so uh, of course we will add the Nile Letchway and the wild water buffalo right next to this house and also I saw a very cool comment under my last video sorry I don't remember your name but you uh, suggested that we should add flamingos next to the cranes and it will be make sense to have them in this wetland sections and I totally agree I actually had some other plans for the for the flamingos but I think it makes more sense to add them here so they will leave uh, in the front like uh, of this house and we'll have ourselves a little wetland section in the Elm Hill City Zoo with the platypus being the main star of this event. And I think that it was the longest introduction to any of my videos. We are almost like seven minutes into a video and I just finished my introduction to tell you guys what we'll build today. <laughs> So let me go through all the things that you saw while I was talking to you guys. Uh, so what we did here was create obviously a land section and a water section for our platypus and as it needs a lot of water and then deep water to dive. They have those really cool water, diving animations so I wanted to use that for sure. I knew that I wanted to give uh, it because I think I will add only one for being really realistic uh, those guys are rather uh, solitary so they don't like the company and it was a miracle that we were able to get only one in the zoo so we'll have one but maybe in the future we'll add two I will see it depends on the mood and depends on how it will look uh, while having only one in this enclosure so yeah uh, the as I told you guys the idea is that this enclosure or this habitat is in the middle of this house so I wanted to have the guests going around it so we have those uh viewing galleries, glass viewing on three sides of this habitat uh, and then uh, all the building will be built around it. So that's why you see me building a habitat in the middle of an open field without the building but I actually wanted to get like the size of this habitat and then start from it and I thought that it would be actually a perfect idea to do it. So, while building this habitat, I obviously wanted to look for some inspiration online, but unfortunately, uh, you know, there are not many platypuses in zoos. Uh, the one, uh, the habitat for the platypus from the San Diego Zoo would be very hard to recreate that in the game. Uh, and when it comes to the Australian zoos, nothing was really like speaking to me, nothing was like very inspiring to me. So I decided to go for like a natural habitat of the platypus. So I was looking at the picture of, you know, its natural habitat. And I decided to build like a riverbank uh, for them because this is basically where they live. So we have this water section that has those two uh, places on the sides where it can enter the water. And then we have this like uh, very steep uh, bank of the water section when it cannot go out of the water. And, and on that bank, we have a lot of plants. Uh, I created this riverbank with uh, the thing that you probably saw a million times of on other people's channels uh, the, um, the mad wall like rock wall using the fake tree trunks uh, everyone loves to use them I love to use them as well I 
think that they look so 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 amazing as though and as those walls those matte walls or rock walls whatever you want to call them so yeah i definitely wanted to use them here as those like river banks to have those like sharp steep edges of the water section because i think that they create a perfect background for our underwater viewing gallery and this is basically what i went for uh, after that, I obviously added a lot of plants to the habitat. I actually used again the rock wall that I created for the Siberian tiger and then I used for the crane and now I am using here but I am so in love with this wall that, that I couldn't help myself and I had to use it one more time but in the next uh, episode I promise you guys that I will create something that you can see how I am creating and we will use something else. What else? We added the path, uh, the uh, tree bark uh, path to this habitat because I saw that, you know, many of those indoor habitats in zoos, they have, they use those tree bark in there because it is probably easy to clean and uh, you just replace it with a new one. Uh, and it looks cool, so why don't use it? And listen, I know that some of you may think that this habitat is a bit small and I agree with you <laughs> but uh, I wanted to go for a very realistic habitat and what I saw from the uh, habitats from the Australian zoos and also San Diego zoos that they were even three times smaller like the platypus is a very tiny animal and it doesn't need a tons of space like I think that the game requirements are a bit too large like it needs 180 square meters which is huge like compared to your own apartment maybe some of you live in huge houses and apartments but but I think that still you will think that 180 square meters is a lot and this is a really tiny animal like like compared to the human size it is really small so I don't think that it needs such a large habitat and I think that the habitat that we have in here is just fine I wanted to go again for a very realistic one uh, so it has a lot of space in the water and has a lot of space on the land and it also has a little burrow. I saw them having those burrows like really close to the water. So I wanted to like have it the closest to the water that I could add it, like how the game would allow me to add it. And this was this point that you can see uh, here in this habitat. And I think it looks really, really cool because the guests will be able to come there very close to this uh, glass barrier and they will see this burrow very close so yeah I think that the positioning of it is really really cool I also knew that this habitat will have to be an indoor one like uh, all the habitats besides one I think that I saw in Zeus for the platypus were the indoor habitats and the one that I saw that was outdoor only the one part was the outdoor habitats and it was uh, obviously in Australia so they had those perfect weather conditions that they are used to uh, in the European zoo in a temperate climate they would have to be housed in inside with you know specific conditions like humidity like the temperature and stuff like that so we could only be able to achieve that in the indoor habitats and this is the most realistic thing to go for for uh, if you're building for example in temperate biome and so on if you don't care about it you can obviously build an outdoor habitat for it in the tundra biome or on the desert and it will be completely fine but if you want to go for this little touch of realism I think that the best thing that you can do is build a indoor habitat for your platypus uh, because that is what the zoos would the zoo would typically do if it was able to house a platypus so in this habitat, I focused a lot actually on the water section. I wanted to make it look very detailed, like very like overgrown with a lot of rocks that the platypus will actually enjoy. Uh, so we added those like dead trees as a br some branches. We added a lot of rocks and some uh, you know different aquatic plants and stuff like that. I am really into aquariums. I have like two tanks right now in my flat, so. 
and I really like decorating the aquariums and I really like, you know, making them feel really natural. So uh, I thought that somehow I am recreating an aquarium in here. Uh, so I went for the things that I would typically do in a like real life aquarium. I actually need to play this, you know, aquarium simulator that everyone is playing right now. Uh, I didn't have a chance uh, to play it, but maybe uh, this was some this would be something that I would actually enjoy. Uh, but yeah, uh, the water section was something that I actually wanted to focus on in here. And I also came up with uh, this idea to use the new uh, bold cypress trees because I really love the, like, the texture on their bark. So I reversed them, like I uh, turned them upside, upside down and I used, used their bark as like an additional layer of this riverbank. And I think it looks really cool. It has some green on the bark, so it kind of looks like algae or something and yeah I really love the look of it and of course I used a lot of uh, like underwater plants from the aquatic pack and also some of the decals like those moss decals I think it looks really cool on the you know on the bottom of the water section also on the walls as some you know algae that has grown over time in this tank and yeah, I really love how this water area has turned out and I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. And if we are talking about enjoying things, thank you guys so, so, so much for enjoying my uh, Red Crown Crane aviary so much. Like the amount of comments, likes and views was just like mind-blowing, heartwarming. I loved your comments, I loved reading them. As I told in, in, told in my last video, you guys always make my day with the comments. So they were exceptional. I am so glad that you loved this aviary so much because I loved building it. Uh, and I kind of didn't have much time, so I actually was a bit afraid that because I had so little time and I did it very quickly uh, because I had to make this video ready for the release of the pack, uh, I would, you know, lose some of the details or I will do some things like, you know, not as or not on the same level as you guys you are used to uh, when seeing my builds. But actually, no, you guys loved it. So thank you for that. I loved seeing all those comments on uh, Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, everywhere. So thank you guys for that. It really means the world to me. And like the amount of comments saying that you got so inspired like by this build are just heartwarming so thank you i love to inspire you guys and maybe this build here will also be inspiring to you so i hope so and i hope you will enjoy it as much as you enjoyed our my crane uh habitat and listen, more animals from the Wetlands Park are coming, are coming to the channel, are coming to the zoo. I know right now that I will be having uh, a bit of busy next couple of weeks. So I think that I'll be able to upload only one video uh, a week. I don't know, but probably that will be the case. So please be patient. We will add all those animals, but uh, I won't be able to make it very fast, unfortunately, uh, but I will do my best. So as you guys can see, uh, we already finished the indoor habitat. We also did the backstage area. Uh, I know that because I had so many things to tell you guys, I didn't tell you enough about the whole build and stuff like that. But if you have any questions about, I don't know, plants I used here or anything, just, uh, let, just let me know down in the comments and I will try to answer all the questions. I used here a really cool trick actually because you know how the game is with water and uh, like being very like precise with the terrain. Uh, here I had some problems with the terrain sticking out of the glass barriers obviously because this whole land section is a bit raised. Uh, so when I like push the terrain back I had those like ditches and holes between the uh, barrier and the land section that you know was 
was unusable by animals and it looks very very like weird so i used this trick to use the decal like those mud decal pieces to hide them and you actually cannot see them that there is some parts of the terrain missing because i was able to hide those holes with those decals so this is a very cool tip and something that i came up with with this video and from now on i think that i will just hide those ugly bits of you know the terrain that you cannot manipulate with those decals uh, because it is really cool thing to do uh, we also have like this rice section for the gas because the land section for the uh, platypus is a bit above uh, so for them to have a better view inside of the habitat we'll have this rice section i did here actually a really cool uh, like planter thing on the wall uh, with some info boards again created by my wonderful buddy uh, rare beast who helps me with those designs so thank you again they are amazing so I wanted to give them some like a special place in here and I uh, decided to build like this, uh, you know, planted wall uh, that is both very modern, but still uh, it's kept in this like wetlands theme. Uh, so I think that it is what we'll go for uh, while building this building in here. So in next episodes, we'll build further the wetlands house and by the end i think that i will finish the whole like facade and things like that a bit different that we did the wild uh, cat house i started by building like the front of the building and then i added habitats in here we'll do the habitats first i think and then we'll focus on building the rest of the building unfortunately this video is a bit shorter so i didn't have any time to share with you guys fun facts about the platypus i will add the platypus once more to the desert adventure park and i will make sure to share with you guys some fun facts about these interesting animals in this video okay guys this is all that i have for you today i hope you enjoyed our little platypus habitat today and my story that i was able to come up with uh, to explain why we are having a platypus in the european zoo if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, thanks to that, you won't miss any of my future uploads. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, comment down below if you enjoyed our platypus habitat, if you were excited for the wetlands house and if there's, there is simply something that you would like to tell me, please do so down in the comments. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Thank you.